the digestive system. Since the body cannot use food in its natural state or even after it's cooked, it must be changed by a process called digestion. Digestion is both mechanical and chemical. Mechanically, the food is chewed, broken into small particles, swallowed, churned by the stomach, and moved along by the intestines till finally evacuated by bowel movement. Chemical digestion consists of breaking down the food by enzymes and various digestive juices into its molecular components. The digestive system breaks down food into particles so tiny that blood can take nourishment to all parts of the body. From the mouth, the food enters the esophagus, a muscular tube 10 inches long leading to the stomach, which moves food along by means of muscular contractions called peristalsis. In the stomach, the food is held, churned, and acted upon by chemicals to break it down. Small glands in the wall of the stomach secrete gastric juice that work on the food. The now semi-liquid food passes through the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum, the three parts of the 22-foot-long convoluted small intestine. Here, digestive juices from the gallbladder and pancreas break down food particles. Many filter out into the blood through tiny finger-like villi that line the small intestine's inner wall. Three accessory organs and glands, the gallbladder, the pancreas, and the liver, play an important part in the digestive process. The gallbladder, which lies under the liver, has as its main function the storing and concentrating of bile when not needed for digestion. The pancreas aids digestion because it contains various juices that act on all types of foods. It also secretes the hormone insulin, which is needed for the metabolism of sugar. The liver has a number of functions, to secrete bile needed to digest fats, to store sugar, to detoxify poisons, to assist in making antibodies, to manufacture part of blood plasma proteins, to take and store iron from worn out blood cells, and to play a part in the metabolism of vitamin A and the storage of vitamin B. From the small intestine, the food goes to the colon, or large intestine, which acts as a holding area and removes water from the waste material. The inner lining of the large intestine is relatively smooth and its membrane contains many tubular glands. These glands are composed of goblet cells which secrete mucus to protect the intestinal walls against the abrasive action of materials passing through it. Mucus also holds particles of fecal matter together and controls the pH of the large intestinal contents. Undigested food in the large intestine forms feces that leave the body through the anus, the external opening at the lower end of the digestive system.